we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. Much love. To those who purchased the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because as we can see right now, we have the first quarter main event. And we know they're going to ride this towards the end of the year. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, the market is slightly up. We know Jerome was in the house and stocks and cryptos were looking good. And I'm going to go over the Fed later. But guys, do not forget we have options tomorrow. So we know we're going to have a pullback. So do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yields. We have volume. We have tether. We have USDC. Plus, we have the Fed. So, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual repo. We know the Fed raises up 25 basis points. And, of course, that's also attached to the repo. So, we're going to see if that shrinks a little bit. Now, guys, do not forget the Bank of England has raised three straight times now. So, they're at 75 basis points already. And remember, guys, the global economy. The only ones that haven't moved yet is the ECB and the Bank of Japan. Now, when we know when it comes to stocks and cryptos, the Fed has took over $2 trillion off the top already. So this first rate hike, I'm not worried about. It's the second rate hike and rolling off the balance sheet that's going to choke this economy. And remember, once they choke this economy, especially small businesses, they're not going to be able to survive without automation. And we already know the corporations are already set up to automate everything. Remember, corporations test technology for 10 years and then they roll it out. Remember, guys, they have to build this fourth industrial revolution where the robots, algorithms, and drones are going to replace humanity in the workforce. And just like I stated, it's a plan. So yes, does it take a while? Yes, but you're going to slowly see everything change. When we go inside of these grocery stores, we see there is a majority of self-checkouts available. When we go into these hardware stores, you may only have one checkout available. The rest is self-checkout. It's not like you can't see it. Because of the events over the last two years, people's habits have changed. So the fact is a lot of people are still used to ordering online also. Now, also, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the Grayscale Whale. Went up slightly. Remember, they moved lockstep with the actual Fed. 
Make sure you're paying attention to the allocations. And then also, they're trying to get that Bitcoin spot ETF approved June or July. And also, don't forget the IMF reviews the basket again. Plus, we have the news that Saudi Arabia wants to accept the digital yuan. And we know this was set up a long time ago. Only thing they're doing is destroying this economy so they can bring in the digital economy. Part of that economy is the United States dollar, the world reserve currency. That's going to be changed over to the digital yuan, and it'll be backed by the digital SDR. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Avalanche price can doubles by summer. And guys, I will tell you right now, that is not true. One thing about the Fed, the Fed has not lied not one time. Interest rates are going to keep rising, plus they're going to roll off this balance sheet. So that means there's less liquidity. Don't get me wrong. Cryptocurrencies are for the future, but we'll see when they start pushing in all the real use cases. That's when we know crypto is going to be going up. Right now, it's not it. We're still in the legacy market. Now, we have Terra plans to buy $10 billion worth of Bitcoin for its stablecoin reserves. And guys, that's called hedging. And we're going to start seeing Bitcoin dominance keep moving up, going inside of this bear market. And these 18,000 cryptos are going to get liquidated. Well, we only have 1% left. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have Coinbase enables users to fund wallets from Chrome browser extension. And they're trying to make it seamless for the masses. And like I stated, we'll know when they're ready to flip that switch. Because we'll see everything connected. But 2022 and 2023 are going to be the building year. Now we have the Bank of Canada collaborating with MIT on CBDC research. And again, guys, what do they do? Take the greatest mind and use them for evil. But guys, we know they've already done plenty of research. We know those CBDCs are ready in the back. Now we have Ripple to give over $300 million and develop a grant. And we see the trillions of dollars that's coming inside of this space. And also, we have Exodus Crypto Wallet starts trading on SEC registered platform. And that is Securitize and T0. Now we have Polygen on board Simba Chain for Ethereum scaling and infrastructure development for Web3. And lastly, guys, we have Blockchain Gamers see playing NFT games as a potential full-time job. And we know that is right around the corner. And we know gamers play for 8 and 10 hours already and not get paid. So just imagine the mass adoption when Microsoft and PlayStation push the agenda. Remember, this is how they get Generation Z inside of the virtual world. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, It's Time to Reeducate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get their home stocks, the C-word, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, 
So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.